Let's work on another example of an API test case, right? So we're still going to be using the WooCommerce API to practice. And in this case, we're going to look at the products API. And it's going to be similar to one of the test cases I did before. When we make changes to one field, another read only field should be updated. So in this case, let's say we have a product that is not on sale and there is a field called uh, on sale or not. It's a Boolean true or false and it's read only. So what we're going to do is we're going to just add a sale price to the product and see if the on sale flag turns false or, or true, vice versa, right? Or round trip. So we're going to start by finding data. So in this case, instead of creating a brand new product to test with, I'm just going to go and get an existing um, product. Sometimes I do that. Since this is a dev environment or a test environment, it's actually okay to find data that exists and then modify it. Normally I don't recommend it, but it all depends on the type of test case. So now what I'm going to do is first I'm going to create, I'm going to fetch data. I am going to add specific parameters. Uh, I need a simple data, a simple product because there's different kinds of products. A simple product is the easiest ones to, to work with. Then I, I just want to get something that is not on sale yet. So I'm going to make the call. I get a product that is not on sale. So I'm just going to take that ID and I'm going to get, I'm going to make another API call that just says get call. I'm just going to get this product and I'm going to check the on sale flag. I'm going to search for on sale and on sale is false. And when I look at the sale price, it is empty. So I'm going to go and update this product. So I'm going to make a put call and update to, to update the product it's going to be a put call. I'm going to change the ID. Uh, that's not the right ID. Is that the right ID? Uh, seven. Oh yeah, that is the right ID. All right. Then I'm just going to say sale price. Let's see what is the price right now. The current price is 58.69. So what I'm going to do is I'm just say, let's say the new price is $40. So I'm going to hit send. All right. The price is updated. So I'm going to make the fetch call again. I'm going to do a get call. And then I'm going to search for that on sale field. Now on sale is true. The sale price is 40, which I updated to, and the on sale up changed from false to true. So it worked. So I know it works. Now, this will be another test case, right? If you're documenting your test cases, you write both of them separately. I would change it back, change the sale price to an empty string, just an empty string, not a blank space, but an empty string. Hit the send, and I'm going to fetch that product again, and I can see that the on sale is false now. So that is an example of another test case. Make sure you give me a like and you give me a follow to look at more software testing type of things.